Good evening, Rack Squad. Hello. How are you this evening? Hi, Pierly. All my racks. How are you? Just gonna fix my volume a bit here. In person wave and game wave. How are you doing tonight, Pierly? How's life treating you? Oh my gosh, rack hug. Yay! Do you enjoy... Look at these sunglasses I got in-game. Aren't they the best? Aren't they so cute? And I got a new mask as well. It's got like makeup on it. Fine, happy that it's the weekend. Yeah, that's great. Happy you have a, a weekend. Star glasses. Yes. Good point. I think they actually put on a filter if you... I think this. Yeah, because they're blue tinted, they like put on a blue filter when you do that. That's neat. I decided that I wanted to play some Sky today because... Aragami last time was a struggle. I was struggling through some of the levels. So I thought, okay, let's just be cozy today. And here we are. Traveling spirit here. I want this cape, but I don't know if I'll be able to get 70 candles in two days. So that might not be possible. We will see. I could buy some, but that is real money. So, dunno. Make a new acquaintance? Okay. Hello. Would you like to give me your candle, please? Please! Thank you. Hey, Em! Welcome back! Oh. Sure, that can be your friend. How are you, Em? Long, it's not, well, not long time, but been a little while. Hope you're well. Oh, this is a new player. Look, they don't even have a cape. Hi. I'll give you a random nickname. I don't know how I got the hold hand thing. Because I didn't hold her hand. But anyway. I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing alright. Doing all right, as you can see. I have a new addition. I have a camera now, so that's fun. I just got it the other day. It's my second stream with it. What else have we got for dailies? Fine cam. Uh, fine. Okay, we'll do that later. We'll do that later. Thank you. So, last time we left off, we had done daylight prairie and Hidden Forest. Well, and Isle of Dawn and Valley of Triumph. Winged Lights. So that leaves us two areas left. Golden Wasteland, as you can see here. And uh, Vault of Knowledge. Now, this is a scary place. But considering that it's Friday the 13th, I think it makes sense that we do the scary place. So, let's go! So, there's nothing up here, but I'm just gonna fly up here because I feel like it. I think there's a secret door back here. But if I, if I am correct, I think you need to, yeah, you need to be like the Nintendo Switch um, beta or something for this area, right? Because I've looked into that before and I'm pretty sure it's the, some sort of beta or Switch or something that you need to go in there. Spooky lands. Hey, the dead doll. Welcome in. How are you? Thanks for first time chatting. Welcome in. 
It's just Nintendo. Okay. Hi, Liz. Cutie. How are you? My lovely face. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, so it, because it's Friday the 13th, we'll go to Spooky Land. We won't go to the spooky part just yet. We'll go over here to Treasure Reef. Oh my gosh. Hi, Soul. What are you doing in here, Mr. London EGX goer? This game is very pretty, Liz. Unfortunately, we're going to be in a kind of desolate area coming up. But, um, otherwise, yeah, it is a very pretty game. Well, thank you, Soul. I hope you're not out doing stuff, though. If you're chilling at your hotel, then, then it's fine. I've been keeping up on the pictures you guys have been posting and stuff. Weirdly, I don't feel that sad that I'm not there this year. I think maybe it's because I've been, I've been, I've been last year, so it doesn't feel like fully like I'm missing out because I've already met some of you guys. Not that I wouldn't want to again, just like, I don't know. I think I've just come to terms with it a bit better this year. Oh my gosh. How are you doing both of those at the same time? That would be like sensory overload to me. So normally I just go for winged lights in these streams, but because I'm grinding for candles for the traveling spirit, I'm also going to be picking up any candles and, and wax that we see, because the struggle is real. So we're going into a very, very pretty area first. Say hello to Ben and Holly for me, yeah. That's so cool that they're there. we got to keep an eye out for any sneaky winged lights. I also liked, too, there was an uh, update in this game, so they're kind of being a little bit more user-friendly. Like, you know, adding in some button prompts so that you know, like, okay, to do this, I need this button. Because before they would just, like, have an icon flashing on the screen, and you'd be like, what is this for? But now, like, for example, when I have a new candle, it'll have a little... L1 in the corner, and it didn't used to, so I like that they're being a bit more, um, you know, user-friendly. New user-friendly, anyway. So I don't actually remember. I haven't been here that much. I did the quest line here, but I haven't really explored much outside of that. So, oh, here's a spirit I didn't do. Let's do that. This is a seasonal spirit because it's got a purple color. Hello. Would you like to work, please? I don't actually know that well where the winged lights are, though. I think this season, that the season that um, got introduced with this area, introduces the swimming mechanic in the game as well, which is pretty cool. Before that, you, you didn't used to be able to. And in some areas, you can't still. Hi, Bandit. Welcome in. How are you doing? Welcome to chill, chill stream day. Where I play a really cute MMO called Sky. Season of Abyss was amazing. That's really awesome, yeah. Uh, so far, the only season um, that I've been live for is the most recent one, Moments. But I'm looking forward to the next one. Ascending. I made some new alerts today. I'm trying not to make too many yet, 
um, until my capture card comes in. But I, I made a few more just just for funsies. Oh, here's another one. Let's do that. Might as well. We're here. Hello. Thank you. This one looks like a fun little emote. Maybe dancing or something. I just love all the little sound effects and stuff. They're all so satisfying. Although you will see sometimes this game, like, stuff's a little bit weird. Like, it doesn't quite register right away. But it is a free game, so I don't fault them for it at all. And I don't really get upset. It's just like, alright. Darkness on you. Ooh, they've got a cool look, a nice mask and cool braids and cape and stuff. So what's their emote? It looks kind of like a oh, like a triumphant laugh. Okay, Okay, nice. So, 13 minutes into the stream, and no winged lights yet. Off to a great start. It's fine. Everything is fine. I know there's at least one here, I think, like, on top of that big tower. But I may... I may bug my fellow Sky players in chat to help me find some other ones. I can't remember if there's any underwater. I'm pretty sure there's one up here. Yeah, hello. Hello, child. Ch little child. We can check, I guess, our map. Getting emails, but price drops in the PlayStation Store. Lovely. Uh, where are we? Okay, so there are still some here, for sure. There wouldn't just be one. That makes sense. Let's see where they are. Maybe we can glide. Please glide. Thank you. We can glide over to the other tower. Let's see if there are any up here. There's one underwater. Yes. Thank you. Doesn't look like there's one here. Ooh, candles, hello. I will take I will take all the wax I can get. Okay. Well, I'm assuming there's one. Let's check down here first. I love the way they swim, they're so cute. Give me all the air bubbles. Ooh, sorry again if it's very bright. This game has a lot of lights in it. Hence the name, Children of the Light, but just as a warning. Let's check in here. Oh, nice little trail of bubbles. Oh my gosh, I'm just getting so many emails right now. The PlayStation Store is going crazy. Let's go into the dark depths. Oh, my air is not doing great. Please help me. Okay. 
are you leaving behind? There we go. This little fish is helping me out. Thank you, fish. Is this air bubbles? Please don't let me die. Okay, it is. Sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna go this is the right area. Or if it'll be by that gate thing. Where we let out those creatures in the quest line. Maybe. We should find it. Let's go up for a second to find my bearings. Oh no, it's over here. No, I don't want to switch swimming styles. Like, I'm literally. I've got like four emails just now from the PlayStation Store. Can you not see I'm streaming? in this game, they're so cute. Let's go into the dark depths here. Uh, I'm with stream delay, so sorry. Okay, the stairs was the right area. Alright. We can go back there. It's all good. We're in no rush. Find as many winged lights as we can. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back there to the stairs. I think these are some clams. I'm hearing some rumbling. I'm a little bit concerned about that. I'm in the wall now, okay. Let me out. Thank you. Hey gamer, welcome in. How are you doing? It's all good. Typos happen. We'll look in here a bit more. Maybe we need to go down instead of up. No, we can't go down. That's a floor. I remember doing this part with the with the dragons. Oh, I hated that. I kept failing it a whole bunch. Jonesy Meow. Come in. How are you doing, cutie? I keep, I keep like, shifting down. Sorry. <laughs> I'll posture check myself. Ugh. I think my pillow was slipping slowly. I'm going into the wall. Okay, now where are the stairs again? I am lost. Help me. Help me! Oh, they're there. How's it going, Jonesy Cutie? Okay, so there's a little gate somewhere here. Is that it? Oh. What do you do? Oh my 
gosh. Oh, that's sneaky, and I just saw the lens flare. Thank you, M. That was really sneaky. Let me, let me open you. Oh, is this like a multi-person? Come on, help me. I thought this was like a like a big one that needed many people. The only issue is it's kind of hard to see in here. There's the gate. Yeah, that was really that was really devious. Oh well, we got it. Let's see. We'll have to check our map again. It is a very beautiful game, and this is just the start. Not the start of the game, but just the start of me showing it in the stream, I mean. Let's go back up. What is that? Is that a clam on the side of the... What are you doing up here? star power. What am I talking about? This isn't Mario. I don't know. I don't have enough weight power to get up there again. Let's recharge. And we'll go. A little pot of fire here. I know it looks a bit silly that I'm standing on it, but it's the fastest way to get your light to recharge. I just love my little sunglasses. I think they're so cute. I wish you could customize the color, though. That'd be awesome. There we go. So let's see if we can get up there. Oh my gosh, rack hug. Ah, there's little plants here to help you get up. Very nice. Yeah, I just found them. Thanks, Em. Shrooms. Okay, nice. We've got them all there. So we can head back to Golden Wasteland proper. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't like it there. But we have to. We need the winged lights. Oh my gosh, Jonesy. I just have the freaking boom chicka boom thing stuck in my head so bad. Oh, I'm going to die. Just the I said a boom chicka boom. I said a boom chicka boom. Because I may or may not have been downloading sound files for certain alerts today. And some of them are stuck in my head. Another one may or may not include macaroni <laughs> and chicken strips. <laughs> and what other ones did I make? Um, oh, I made like a bonk one. For those of you that know me in Discord, you know a certain bonk emote I like to use. <laughs> What else did I make? Um, I made Jonesy. You'll like this one. I made as well. I made the poopy 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 poopy. 
tried to find like a raccoon gift that went with that. Oh, another one was the. Hey! Oh, hey, more passion! More passion! More energy! <laughs> okay. Here it is. Golden Wasteland. Let's go! Most violent way to enter a, a realm. Yeah, I go into this air pool. Like this, not air pool. Air whirlpool of death. And we're about to just get absolutely smacked down into the sand. And... Oh, it's taking me the long way. I guess because I didn't skip the cutscene. Bonk. Just take a nap here for a second. Nice chill Friday night. Okay, now let's get up. We're gonna go for it. I see my little friend over there already. I'm apparently also missing a spirit in this area, and I don't know how, because this area is not that big, unless they're like really tucked away somewhere. Bonk. Maybe there's one over here, I like never really come over here. Oh, can I actually go on this? Ooh. Let's check for little spirits. Doesn't look like anything over here though. Like I feel like I'm about to get blown back. Yeah, there we go. Won't let me go any further. Hmm. That's the only thing of that this game is like sometimes you'll be like right by something because it's like slightly blocked you won't get like the lens flare like that light kind of corona showing you that like ooh something's here so unless you come at it from like a different angle you might not see it at all excuse me do to get rid of crabs? We honk. Okay, we will be taking a very brief detour again from our main... Oh, thank you for burning those. Uh, you missed one. It's okay, I got you. We will be taking a brief detour to the Forgotten Ark. Another very pretty area. See what I mean? Do you see the little L1 in the corner? That you didn't used to be there. But now I know. I click L1 and get my candle. If I didn't already know. Is there one up here? No, there's just the bench. Right. I'm gonna check my little map. Hi, Reese. Cutie, how are you? No problem on the lurk. Do whatever you want. There's a Georgia in my crystal ball. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, Nico. Welcome in. Oh, maybe you'll appreciate this, Nico. I'm wearing my PlayStation. Oh, I'm pressing a button. I'm wearing my PlayStation sweater today, and it's got PlayStation in Japanese on it and on one of the sleeves. Where is it? Is it this one? This one. Yeah. Thought you'd appreciate that. Halloween is almost here. Yes. Very true. So see what I mean? That little blue icon tells me there's a spirit here that I haven't found. But I don't know where. I don't know where it is. I'll have to look that up. But that's alright. We'll go to Forgotten Ark quickly get the lights there and then we'll continue on into
to spooky land. My white cap has the kana in blue on the side. Nice. Yeah, I really like the sweater. I actually, it's not even like a... F well, maybe it is official. I don't know, but it's from Amazon. But it's like a, one of those nice, like, light hoodies where it's not too warm. So I can wear it on, like, a day where, you know, I don't need a lot of warmth. But I, I just want to be covered and, like, cozy, you know? I might run a spooky game for Halloween. Stream, I don't know. Nice. Hope you can decide on something. I've been talking to other streamer friends. And <laughs> I've come to the conclusion I don't own any spooky games, so... And, like, I don't want to start a game just for stream that I'm, like, not interested in other days, so... Like, the games from Plus and stuff wouldn't count because I don't want to play those, you know, like, for the story and stuff. I just, I'm not a spooky game person. This area in the sky is enough for me. What games are you thinking of, though, gamer? Like, what are your kind of options? Nico, how was yesterday? How was your trip as well? I loved seeing all the pictures that you guys were posting. Nice that you got to meet everyone. Well, not maybe not everyone, but you got to meet a few people in the community as well. While we're waiting for this cutscene, I'm just gonna check these emails that came in. Price drop. Price drop. Price up on multiple games. And price drop on multiple games. This one doesn't load, that's fine. Hopefully we'll see you next EJ. Yeah, I, I wish. That'd be so awesome. Problem is, is like, it's kind of a weird time of the year for me. Because if I get a job as a teacher again, it'll be during the school year. If I'm still at this cafe job next year, then I guess I could request time off for this period. So, like, I couldn't make it work, but kind of depends. Like, I don't know what I'm going to be doing for work in the following year, you know? I might run Resident Evil series or something. Yeah, Resi's, like, a, always a good choice. Okay, so this area is Forgotten Park. I've done the quest line here as well, so it's got like a bunch of colors and lights and stuff now. And the the, the oars of the ship move. Because when you come here, it's like really barren, and then slowly like you catch orbs of light across the different realms. And then you like bring color back to this place. So it's very pretty now. Get some, oh, I missed. Is there a way to turn up the microphone a bit? I can bring it closer to my ear. Or I could... I don't know. I know this, the music in this game is kind of loud. Um, audio? Oh, there we go. Maybe I can turn down stuff a bit. How's that? Let me know, Nico, if that's okay. It is, and every time I play this game with headphones on, I'm, I'm always just like, oh my god, the, the music's like really loud. But normally I play with speakers, like out loud, so it hasn't really been an issue up until now. But I do know what you're talking about, it's quite... the music in this game is quite strong. Very chill, but strong. Okay, there is a light right up here. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know. I don't remember if there's one in these caves, so we're gonna go quickly check. Ooh, five more wings until the next level. That's exciting. Let's do a little loop in here. 
either way, we'll get some wax out of it, even if there's no wings. Stinky crap, get out of here. Go away, crab. I love the little honks in this game. Uh, okay, so we've got two options. Let's go down this one first. Give me the wax. Give me the wax. Give me all the wax. any in here. I know there's one in that other cave. Sorry if I'm moving the camera really fast. Go away, crab. He likes you. So we'll go to the other cave. Oh no, I'm lost in here now. No! No! Figured it out. We're all good. other shipwreck for some wax. Oh my god, she's around now! Woo! <laughs> yeah, I played around with the cutout size settings, and I, I just thought the round looked cute. Oh my god, I'm sliding them. I thought the round looked cute. I debated between this and the um, square, but I don't know, I just liked the round shape better. Also, hi Robbie. How are you doing? Welcome in. Hope you had a good day of work today. I know you said you were working from home, so that's nice. No commuting. You know what? I wasn't going to do as many that many spirits, but this spirit today, it's orange in color because it's our daily it's our daily quest spirit, so we're going to do it while we're here. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It was my day off today. Finally, I, I worked like six days in a row or something, so it was a very much needed day off. And then I was looking forward to my day off tomorrow as well, but I got called in to work tomorrow because one of my coworkers is sick, so I have to work nine to five tomorrow and Sunday, which are like the busiest days at the cafe. I'm not looking forward to it, but oh well, it's eight hours of overtime, so. It'll be a nice little bump of cash. Oh, Gamer, you start a new job as well. Very nice. Hope it goes smoothly. I gotta say, these are my least, least favorite types of spirits. The one where you have to like guide the light. Ugh, just so slow. Because if you try to run at all, it, the light doesn't catch up to you. You have to stay in this little circle. It's just like We've got stuff to do. Let's go a bit faster. Come on. Come on. And it doesn't... Yeah, it's hard to move up and down with it because sometimes it doesn't register. Like, it doesn't go fast enough to keep up with you. So, look, for example, there I just fell down and it I fell down too fast. Come on. Although it is cute how you, like, hold your hand up to it. You're like, come on, little light. Follow me. Oh, well, we're halfway done now. It's a good thing I decided to check over here. That way we're getting our daily done at the same time. So I just have... I just have one after this. Wait. No. Our dailies in the... Why is this orange then? I'm confusion. Am I doing this for nothing? I don't know. Our dailies in the Valley of Triumph. But why is this spirit orange? This is my first time actually watching anything related to the sky. Well, I hope I sell you on playing it, because I want friends in this game. <laughs> it is a very cute 
MMO in the Sile of Journey. I've probably talked to you about it before, but yeah, it's very like cute and like very low, um, low text, like low levels of text. Like it, it, it uses pictures and like kind of little cutscenes to show you what's going on. But even then, like it is kind of confusing. Like I do have to look up stuff online all the time, but I enjoy it, so it's all right. Oh, this is the traveling spirit. That's why it was orange. Okay. Now we know. I'm skipping it because I didn't actually need to do that. Oh well. Hello? Why am I frozen? Hello, game server? It would be nice if you worked. I literally can't move. I can't honk. I can't do anything. Uh... I'm just gonna give the game a second. Yeah, it is a very chill game. Um, I might have to go home and come back. I got frozen there. I probably shouldn't have skipped the cutscene. Oh well. So let's collect our daily candles while we're here. Did I only... Why did only one work? There is no platform platinum for this game, gamer. It is a hundred percent only. Not that I mean, hundred percent is in, in its own right is cool for trophy hunters, but um, the trophy rarities are actually really high for this game. So, like, um, once I get all the trophy, because I am trying for all the trophies in this game. And once I get them all, um, I should, like, they should fill all of my most rare trophies because all, like, all, not all, about half the trophies in this game are, like, 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 on PSN profiles, so, like, they are very rare. And one trophy I've gotten already has moved into second on my most rare trophies little case thing on PSN profiles so if I get them all it's gonna be really awesome can you burn plant I'm having a bit of server issues oh Ubaidan thank you for the follow sorry if I've said your name wrong I didn't even hear my my little alert thing is muted I didn't even see it Thank you, though. I, I've got all these little cute alerts, unfortunately, for computer only right now, but soon, once I get my capture card, everyone will be able to see my alerts. Whoa. You can't escape the raccoons anymore at that point. Go away, crap. No, I don't want to fly. Okay, I know there's a little wing in here. So close to a hundred. That's exciting. Also, for my friends watching that know I've recently hit 100 followers on Twitch, I have an announcement at the end of the stream regarding the 100 follower special. So be ready for that. My fastest platinum is the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered, and it's still on my rare wall. Wow! Thank you, Robbie. It's kind of surreal. Like, that 100 people have clicked to follow me, you know? Just like, oh. A rack announcement, yes. Exactly. Is your stream ending now? Perhaps? No, we just started. Oh my gosh, we're already 45 minutes in though. We're already 45 minutes in and I've done like two side areas. Okay, we need to go a bit faster. 
at least to try finish Golden Wasteland today. My plan for Sky is just like, like I kind of just have it on the side. I play it every day, like do the dailies. Um, but for like streaming, it's like, I'd, it'd be nice to like find all the wing lights on stream, at least in one run. And then potentially do like Eye of Eden, which is like the final area. And then you get, by finishing that area, you get reborn basically. So that'd be kind of cool to do on stream. Kind of have like a whole life cycle of, of a Sky character on stream. Can we get the announcement now? No. Not yet. Oh my gosh. Rack Squad rules. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you're all you're all why the Rack Squad rules. It's all because of you cuties. Okay. I don't know if I got them all in the Forgotten Arc, but we've just gotta we've gotta move on. I could find any extra ones if I missed any after stream. Ugh. Rack squad rad. How was everyone's girl dinners today? <laughs> I can't go a stream without talking about girl dinners now. My girl dinner today was a leftover piece of quiche that I'd made. And I made some tomato soup, just like from a packet. It's like tomato soup and mozzarella. I'm gonna order curry. Ooh. You can get the rack announcement right after the break. <laughs> no, no ads. Okay, this is why this area is scary. Do you see this? Do you see this, everybody? This is the worst. I hate these things. These are called dark dragons, and they hunt down light. So look at this. Look what it's going to do with this matchup. So mean. I told you this stream would fit Friday the, thir the 13th. Dork Durgan. No. <laughs> I hate these things so much, though. They're so scary. And if they, if they hit me, they basically take my light. And they can make me lose lose winged lights. So, like right now, I'm at 96 winged lights. But if one hits me, I can lose winged lights. So they are very scary. And if you go into their spotlight, you are screwed. No, you can't murder them purely. They're just they're just always there. They actually remind me. Does any is anyone else fans? Um of the Atlantis movie, the animated Atlantis movie, because this really gives me like Leviathan vibes from the Atlantis movie. Bye bye soul. See you later. Thanks for joining in. Have a good rest of your weekend at EGX. But please tell me someone else knows the, the thing I'm talking about from Atlantis. Please, because this is exactly that. They're so scary. I hate them. Oh my god. Like, look at them! There's a trophy for actually, like, tagging the the dark dragon before it sees you. So you have to, like, fly up to it and, like, like fly into it. And, um, then you get a trophy for it. And I hated it. It was so scary. But I did it because trophy. Sorry, I missed some girl dinners. Nico had chips, not gonna lie. This is the way. I'm at my parents, so no girl dinner for me. All dinner is girl dinner. I think we've established this race. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go having a bit of issue with that lately. Like, darkness not burning properly. Oh well. Okay, we could split off into a side area again. Not really a side area, this is just like very often the areas in, in Sky, like, you can kind of branch off and then meet up again. But I'm not gonna take 
this entrance, there's another entrance later. So we could like have the most linear path. Google did, uh, so you looked it up. And tell me I'm right, because I'm right. Like it, it's so creepy, like that Leviathan thing. Also, this is something for a trophy. This is a little cannon thing. So one of you gets in here, and the other one uses this candle to like catapult them. And you have to do that, I think, like 20 times to another player. I haven't done that one yet, though. In that case, broccoli and tiny potatoes with rundervink. It's a beef. Oh. Ah! Oh my god, it almost saw me. <gasps> that was scary. Hello, right, I'm left. Boo. My internet is not being friendly to me today, so I'm going to drop. Lovely to see you. No problem, M. Thank you for joining in. I understand the frustration of streams and things not loading, so I appreciate you sticking around for as long as you did. Let's roast the crabs. Boop. Oh, it didn't do the thing. Come on. There we go. They love being roasted. Oh, Mick T Rex, right? <laughs> I forgot that was their nickname. Also, this is like one of the worst spirits. I had such a hard time doing that spirit for the first time. Okay. Now it's risky. Risky for the bisky time. If we fly high enough, we shouldn't have to worry about dragons. Oh, I didn't see this one over here. Let's go. Wee. Since I was talking about trophies earlier in this game, maybe a good question for the chat is, what are some of your rarest trophies? If you need to go look them up too, you can. Um, it's not like I'd expect you to know that off the top of your head, but I'm just kind of curious. What are your rarest trophies? Maybe your top five, I don't know. Candle wax, please and thanks. Oh no, somebody's somebody's hurt. Do they have a friend with them? No, they don't. I'm coming, friend. I will help you. Let me help you. Why will you not revive them? No, I will get your winged light for you. Ah! Go away, Dark Dragon. Why can't I revive you? I don't know why it's not working. Oh, come on. Let me save them! There's a trophy for this too! No, I will get your light! Why isn't it working? Come on! Maybe I just have to hang out for a second. Oh, but the dragons are coming! No! I'm saving your lights, but I can't save you. Can I give you light this way? Oh, let's level up my wing. No, 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 no,
Can I get your winged lights back for you? I did. I don't know why it's not letting me revive them, though. Oh, I'll get you. Wait, hold on. Let me get your winged light. Here we go. Here, hold on. Hold on. Run! Run! <laughs> Buddy, I told you to run! Hold on. Let me get their lights again. Keep talking about rare trophies, though. I will be there in a second. Oh, did I save them? I did, and they've run away now. Thank you for leaving me with the dragon. Oh. My gosh. That was awful. Okay. We saved them, though. They didn't lose their wings. So look at me being a nice person. Let's hide in here for a second, and I will check your comments. My rarest trophy is apparently from Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Two, my top five are two from that game, two from Titan Souls, and one from For Honor. Interesting. I wonder I wonder if the Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes ones are because they're really difficult, or just like maybe not a game people play a lot? I don't know. All of my rarest trophies are from Black Ops 4 Zombies, which I played a lot with my friend. Interesting. My top five, uh, let me just pull up my PSN profiles actually. That is the wrong window. Here's my PSN profiles. My top five are, oh no, hold on, I'm gonna hide first because dragons might come. Ah! My top five are uh, Multiverses Platinum, uh, Where To Next in Sky, which is like 30, holding hands with 30 different players. Uh, party Animal in Multiverses, which is... I think you have to play like 500 party matches. It was the biggest grind of my life. I hated it so much. Um, Tomb Raider from Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris, which is like a kind of top-down sort of Tomb Raider game. And then dot 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 it from Uncharted 4, which was a very, very difficult trophy. And I spent like purely can attest to this, we spent like six months grinding for that trophy. Like literal, literal six months, not like in-game something like, yeah. All my rarest trophies uh, are either COD or Friday the 13th. Oh, interesting. Very grindy games. Okay, I don't want to go to the next area. We're going to go to this other side area. We lost years of our life grinding for this, honestly. But it's so it's so worth it now because it's done, you know. It's for survival mode, right? I got the platform charted for, but absolutely noped out of the online and survival stuff. God, yeah, like. No, good on you, Robbie, for just being like, nah, it's not worth the trophies because Pearly and I were just like, we gotta do it though. It was purely me, Steve, and Ryan. Ryan like came in like purely Steve and I grinded for like six months and then Ryan came in closer to the end of when we were like about to finish everything up caught up to us and then like helped us do glitches and stuff to get uh, the like the the levels with three stars and my god if Ryan hadn't come in we honestly wouldn't have gotten it I don't think because he was playing online and just matching with randomly with people and there was people that are just like experts at this survival mode and they just um absolutely like blitz the rounds and they join up with anyone with let that like needs help and like help them get the the times that they need it's like so crazy so ryan dot got that got all the trophies and we were just like dude what the hell like what happened you know like one day he we just like wake up and he's got all these trophies done and we're like what happened and he was like don't worry like they taught me how to do it so then he helped us get all of them and oh my god yeah ryan the hero my fall guys trophies bugged from ps4 to ps5 so i had to do some work around and do 14 trophies again i remember you saying that yes that's stinky 
Nanny is here! Cute Circle Jiro! Whee! Hello? Okay, I've got- I've, Okay, I've got the graveyard. That's good. So we've got some more in the boat area, which I'm pretty sure I know where they are. I love Naughty Dog games, but I hate their online trophies. Yeah, it's just like... This is a single player game. Why do you need an online trophy? I honestly will never understand that in games. She has her own snow globe now. <laughs> Nico also said crystal ball. Is it cute? Like, or should I try a different shape? Should I just try like a few different shapes until, until we find like the best one? I don't know. Cause like, I, I, I can't tell if you guys are like making fun of the circle or if you like it. How do we shake the snow globe? Like this. Ah. Does it rain racks? It should. I only make fun of the stuff I like, oh my gosh. Redeem snow globe shake. Aw. Is it cuckoo nini time, by the way? I would love a snow globe shake redeem, oh my gosh. Okay, I will write that down. Hold on, I'm just gonna hide from the dragon. I will write that down. Okay. Oh, also, since we're taking a second, I found um, this sticker that my sister bought me for my birthday. Look at it. It says stay trashy. Isn't it the best? I'm gonna put it on my laptop. Once the um once the other sticker I ordered comes in, I'm gonna put this and it on my laptop. Stay trashy. Look at that. It's the rack squad. Yeah. That and and I'm gonna put girl dinner sticker on there so I'm, I'm excited once like I should check on that order and see what's the, what the expected delivery date is it's the one annoying thing about living um, in an apartment that like doesn't have like a door person or like a proper mail box system is that like I always have to be home for packages and like very rarely am I home like at the times where the delivery people come so I ugh. I always have to like go to the post office and pick stuff up and just like it's so annoying because there's no post office near me and I don't have a car like today I went to the post office to pick up a package from Etsy it was like these new Fitbit bands that I got and um, so I had to walk like 20 to 30 minutes just to get there and it was like this like one envelope and I'm like really you couldn't have just like left it in the lobby with all the other mail but no that's not allowed like, because it is a closed-off lobby, no one can get in the lobby without a key. But there's no, like, proper mailbox system, which is annoying. Anyway, that's me ranting about my apartment. Okay, this area. I know there's a winged light up on that tower. We can see the lens flare from here. I don't think there's any in this first part. Yeah, like, I guess, in a way, it's good that they don't just leave stuff, because unless it's, like, a letter. Like, they'll leave, like, letter-shaped stuff. But if it's anything other than a letter, they won't. Or if it's, if it's coming from, like, a foreign country or something. Because I think the fitness bands were coming from Germany on Etsy, so probably because, even though it was a letter-shaped thing, probably because it was coming internationally, they had to leave it with the cur like um, the post office. Like, I get it. I get, like, they're trying to reduce, like, theft and stuff. It's just really annoying. Also, you know. I just want the convenience of stuff being at my house all the time. Oh, five minute walk would be nice. There are a few, like, um, automatic, like, locker things. Um... So I'll use that, like, for example, the Greek version of Amazon has a box, like, literally on the next corner. So it's like two minutes, not even two minutes for me to get there. 
but it's only for something from that website. And then I think there's another, like, one of those lockers for a different shipping kind of company. Um, otherwise, there's, like, um, kind of pickup points at gas stations and things like that. Or, like, you have to go to the, the post office and stuff. Yeah. Oh, welcome in. Uh, Pedro Vegas. Uh, I'm just playing by myself today. We're just kind of chilling, going around, looking for winged lights, but thank you for the offer for an invite together. Maybe another time. What's the Greek version of Amazon? It's called Scroots. Uh, so, it's like all coming out of Greece and um, like it's quite cheap like I try not to order too much because I feel bad about like all the emissions from deliveries and stuff but like I got my TV through there like you can get a lot of stuff pretty much the same as Amazon now there's a wing light around this tower as well there you are come here little buddy Automatic lockers are huge here. It's full of them. Uh, but if it's... Oh. But if it's full, then it gets sent to the post office. Yeah. Yeah, like, of course, there's only so many locker slots, and sometimes the package is too big for it, and... Yeah. Hello. Do the thing. Off to the elder of the area. We have two main delivery services here. One is a drop-off at the supermarket five minutes away. The other is at a shop right next to the supermarket. Oh, that's really convenient. The stinkies have followed us here. Stinky dark dragons. How dare they. I hate them. I hate them so much. It's okay, though. We finished. Dork Durgan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, they're they're just they're the worst. Thankfully though we're done in this area. We can just move on. There's just one little side area left. Lovely. Oh no. The side area isn't in this temple. I'm confusing it with a different area, my bad. Just get our little wax first, and then I'll show you guys the cutscene with this elder because I've kind of just been showing all the cutscenes. Uh, let me actually just check the map, make sure we found them all. Yeah, we have. Do I not have a map for that last area? I don't. Hey, Haza, welcome in. This kind of reminds me of a game called The Pathless. I can see that the arts with the art style for sure. For some reason saying dork every time you mean to say dark makes everything funny. Yeah, just being like dork dork and Did I finish Origami and get all the medals? Not yet. Um I just decided like I was struggling with some of the one of the levels on Tuesday and I just was like I think I just want a little a little break the stream. So I decided to play some Sky. Oh yes, Nini is a big Pathless fan. This Elder is cool. Pathless. Yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised, Reese, if Pathless was made by absolute people. I can redeem my first live hydrate. Oh my gosh. This is for you. Cheers. My slurp jug. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just this art style is so beautiful. Ten out of ten wood hydrate again, oh my gosh. Absolute Pathless and Sword of the Sky to be released. Yeah. I think I remember Sword of the Sea. I remember um a kind of sand based game at like recent showcases and stuff. I think that one's sort of the sea. Sea and sky are different things, must remember. Yes. Also, I freaking I have this weird habit where I like play with my hair like this. So if you see me just like reaching up and doing this, I I, I just like for whatever reason I like to play with the hair at the back of my head. I inherited that from my mom. My mom does the same thing. Because she'll just be sitting there watching TV and she's got like short curly kind of like an afro kind of hair so she'll be there just like twirling her afro like this and i fully got that from her because my dad's like taking pictures of us like both doing it at the same time without realizing that the other's doing it or even that we're doing it anyway just a little fun little georgia lore okay i think first go into this side area. We're getting there with the winged lights. Oh, someone's opened it. Very nice. Thank you for opening this. I'm adding it to the compendium. Yes. <laughs> the compendium of Georgia lore. Also, what? I just keep seeing myself getting lower and lower in this little snow globe. There we go fluff up my pillows more to sit me up a bit higher. Nope. Nita and I will one day direct the movie for life. Oh god. <laughs> the founder of the dev team behind those games was art director for Flower and Journey. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense then. Makes a lot of sense. Aw, oh, yeah, they're cousins. It's cute. I don't think there's any up here. Sorry again for fast camera. I'm just looking around for winged light friends. One day I need to, like, go through this game properly and, like, find all the map stones because I want a, a nice, complete map in this game. So far I've just picked up the ones I found, like, naturally. But I would like to have a full map one day. Just one of the things that I need to, like, sit down and do, you know? In the meantime, though, we'll keep going through our areas here. And drop down. Whee! There's a side area somewhere here. We're just looking for it. Ah, oh, here we are. There you are, friend. There's another snaky one right here. Hello. Take turns for the role of Georgia. <laughs> okay, I got lost for a second. I know where I'm going now. I don't know where I'm going now. I'm going backwards. Dee 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 dee. No problem, Pedro Pedro Vegas. I will add you at the end of the stream. I can I'll scroll back on the comments and, and add you later. Okay, let's go to our other side area here, the Starlight Desert. 
I actually haven't explored this area all that much, so I don't know where the winged lights are off the top of my head, but we will find them. Robbie has redeemed a posture check. Okay, just let me get out so that you guys can enjoy the view, and I will do a posture check. There you go. Enjoy that nice view. Okay. Let's sit up. Oh. Stretch the neck. Crack the shoulder. Ow. <laughs> Twitch told me to redeem a posture check, so I'm interpreting it as a sign. Yeah, that's fine. Do some little shoulder circles. Do a little spine twist. Ooh, there goes the hip. Ow, there goes a rib. <laughs> you know you're getting old when just everything cracks. <laughs> there we go. Thank you for the posture check. You're welcome to join me when we do a hydrator posture check if you want to get a little stretch. This area is so pretty. This area actually comes from uh, a season where they had the little prince as a, as a character. I'll show you one of the characters in a second. I've always cracked. Was I always old? No, no, Reese. I, I have always cracked as well, like, because I played a lot of sports as a kid. I've got lots of, like, wear and tear on my joints and stuff and, and just, like, old injuries that didn't quite heal right so I've got lots of um, areas that crack all the time. I agree you're both cracked. Oh my gosh. I don't know if there's one up here. Maybe not. I've never cracked. I just am cracked. Oh, the self-confidence. Yes Nini. We love to see it. I think I have two flexible joints. The rheumatologist implied that a week ago. That's something that is very possible as well because I've always been told that some of my joints are too flexible. So the um, the muscles around them tense up because they're trying to keep them from like popping out of place, you know? So I would completely understand that if that was true. Oh, there is a winged light. I just saw it at the top of the tower. You sneaky little sausage. I see you. I hopefully should be able to get up there if I fly correctly. Yeah! Please! Oh my gosh. No! Let me get up there! Please! Oh, that's letting me walk it. Yes. Yes. There's a scary place. We don't like we don't like that place. Scary. Okay, where's the other one? There's another area up in the clouds here. I think it's through this tunnel. Let's try it. Let's see what happens when we fly over here. The joints don't lock together well, so the muscles have to work overtime. Yeah. Like, because for me, the issue was, is, uh, once when I was playing volleyball, I landed on my knee. So my, like, you know, my leg landed like this. So my hip popped kind of in and out, like it went, you know, very quickly. But because of that, all the muscles around my hips tensed up like crazy. Because they're like, no, 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 you're not allowed to pop out. So ever since, I've like struggled with like a lot of hip kind of stiffness and pain and stuff. And the only way to fix it is like working out my hip muscles to like stabilize. My shoulder keeps half dislocating every once in a while. Oh, but that feels really weird. Oh, a little mirror and stage and stuff. Cute. So there was no light here that I can see. Unless there's one right at the top there. Let's double check. They tend to have them in sneaky places like that. No. Oh, I'm just kidding. 
getting hit by fireworks, no big deal. Is there anything behind here? What are these? Oh, these are spotlights. Fun! I just had my last shoulder physiotherapy today. I didn't know you were going to physiotherapy for your shoulder, Nini. I know you hurt your... Your, um... Was it your leg? Because you fell recently, I remember. Or is that something else? Am I getting them confused? Oh yes, Nita! <laughs> Good old Nita. It's just a weird pain. Yeah. No, I feel that my, my right shoulder, because of volleyball, like, because of the overuse of, like, this forward motion, I, um... Like, I have it kind of click back and forth a lot, and it's really uncomfortable. So this is the um, the spirit guide for the Little Prince season. I've never actually, like, read Little Prince, but I've heard the Rose is a character in it. And then there's the Little Prince. It's telling me, like, its next quest to do. I still have to get around to this quest. But yeah, there it is. I ha see, As you see, I've only done the first one. But one day, we'll get to eventually. Let's go into another... I used to have a few joint issues when I was a kid that made me dangerously flexible. Honestly, yeah, like a lot of... I think a lot of people when they're like still growing up, their bodies just like don't know how to handle, you know, their bodies. Like all the joints and stuff. And they're just like, what do you mean I have to, like, hold the joint in place? Like, the tendons are like, what do you mean I have to do my job? Ruined a kid's birthday party because I fell down the side of a bouncy castle. Oh my god. No, I've had that too. I've had, like, mishaps where, you know, we're at a bowling birthday party and um, my finger gets, like, slammed by a bowling ball and it's just like... Then I ended up crying a lot and it's just like... It happens. Kids' birthday parties are never meant to go right. I'm glad my ankles are stable. Right hip and left shoulder, though. Ugh. Yeah, for me, it's... Like, my ankles are fairly okay. They click because of old sprains. But they're not... Um, like, they're not in pain. They're fine. Like, I think they move okay. It's just my... It's my shoulders. Both shoulders. My hips. Uh, sometimes one of my knees acts up. Base almost all my joints, actually. <laughs> At this point, is there... I think there's a light up here somewhere. If I remember correctly. I think it's down in here. Please? Yeah, there you are. I knew you were in here. Boop. I traumatized 30 kids because I fainted during a presentation when I was 10 and did a whole zombie walk before I actually feel- Oh my gosh. That sounds awful. I would have, um, whenever we had, like, immunizations at school, like, for Hep B and, like, you know, all those, like, vaccines. I don't know if in other countries you get vaccines at school, but we used to in Canada, and I think you still do. And I am- I have a thing about needles. I faint when I get needles. And, um, so I would get these needles and I would go, like, deathly white afterwards. And then I'd have to, like, be laid down and, like, sometimes I passed out, sometimes I didn't. It depends on if I caught it early enough. Like, if I put my head down in my knees and l allowed blood to rush back into my brain, like, I wouldn't pass out, you know? Um, so I, I would traumatize a lot of my fellow students because they would literally be like, I've never seen someone's skin go that pale before, you know? Anyway, this is a really cute area in the game. It's called Jellyfish Cove. It's very pretty. I don't know if there's any winged lights here. I just want kind of wanted to come here because it's pretty. There's sometimes shard events here and I like, I like when they are because it's pretty. Yeah, no, no light here. That's fine. We'll use this geyser to get back. Do the thing. Whee! 
Oh, this has set me up quite high. Am I am I meant to go somewhere with this? Or is it just throwing me up to the top just cuz? Either way, I don't see lights, so let's go back. Wee! Moves into Jellyfish Cove. Yeah, it's so pretty. Also, I saw your suggestion, Nini. Word of the stream should be different body parts. The thing with that, though, Nini, is many cultures differentiate body parts differently. So we'd have to clarify which body part we're talking about. Because, for example, in Greek, they don't differentiate between arm and hand. It's just all the same word for arm and hand. But in English, we do, obviously. Were they okay about it? I don't know what you're talking about. And hand, purely. Oh, no problem. I don't want to see the thing again. I don't want to see the thing again. You're talking to our lovely friend Reese. So, okay, let's do that then. Let's do arm and hand as our um, word of the stream then. Because, for example, going from my shoulder here all the way until here. In Greek, this is called heri. There is no word just for this on. I guess I'll do it on this. Just for this on. It's heri and this on is heri. There's no different word. But in Greek, in English, sorry, this is arm and then this is hand. Yeah, that is Robbie. Heri, like that. Mm -hmm. But Reese, what is it in Dutch? Is it the same? Arm and, and hand? Arm and, and hand? Arm and hand are both kasi. Ka oh, I always forget the double. Kasi. But if you need to differentiate them, then you can call arm Kasivarsi, and the palm of your hand is common. Oh, and palm is palm. <laughs> Breich in Welsh. Cat. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, right. So, Kasi. Kasivarsi. And Kamen. I tried. Vinger. Nice. Um, yeah, so another thing in Greek is the fingers and toes on your feet are also the same word. Dachtilidia. Dachti... Um, what's, what's this say? Dachtilidi, one, and dachtilidia. And you'd have to say, like, fingers of the hand, fingers of the foot, if you want to be more specific. So, dactylidia to heriu, fingers of the hand. Dactylidia to podiu, fingers of the feet, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Though, like, usually you'd say, ah, to dactylidimu, like, all right, now is dactylidi ring?
They essentially, yeah, basically the appendages, the appendages of the, the hand and the appendages of the foot, basically. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Nini, for you. How are we doing? An hour and a half? Okay. We're doing alright. I'm here, friend. I'm here to help you. We'll see if anyone else can show up and do this area with us. Okay, well we can get one one thing out of this. Help, please. How can I help you? What does this one do? Just, uh. Oh, they're playing piano. Nice. No, not this one. This one. Oh. Let's go! This one needs four people to get in, so... Come on! Dude, go to a different one! I've got my thingy going there! Hello? Yes? No, go to a different one! Curry? Um, I don't know what kind of curry you've got at your shop, your local place. The website said they're all good, best curry. <laughs> Come on, friend, help! And gave up. Big Sag. You can do it! Oh my god, there's two people there. Come on! Help! Spectacular curry. Please help! Well, I think that's your solution, Robbie, is to list the entire menu. Just saying. We've got to help you. Please help! I'm not running away, other person. I'm just getting this wax. Oh, they're running away. Big Sag. Uh, you know what? Maybe we will go... Excuse me. We'll go into the repository of refuge or whatever this place is called first. Yeah, repository of refuge. The right answer is rack curry. Oh my gosh. But is it curry made from racks? Because we don't want that. I didn't think that's what you meant, but sometimes it's, like, you know, like, you know, when you're like, oh, it, let's get beef curry or chicken curry, rack curry. <laughs> it's made, it's not made from them, it's made by them. Oh my gosh, so they're the, are they the best curry chefs? Don't worry, Pearly, I, I knew what you meant. I know there's a winged light here somewhere. The rack special? Yeah, that sounds a bit better. The rack special. I don't know why that's making me think of the Emperor's New Groove. You know when they, like, are doing that? Well, like, when Cusco's a llama 
and they're like at that restaurant and he's like dressed up as a woman for whatever reason. <laughs> uh, just made me think of that. Go up on that. Go on that thing. Yeah. I don't have enough wing for this. Let me fly. Yeah, we'll just recharge down here. It's fine. Yeah, that would be disturbing if uh, he read it the way he purely actually typed it. Oh. Oh, I'm messing this up a lot. This is embarrassing to watch. Hey, Rebel Love. Welcome in. Sorry if I missed you. I don't think I came in earlier, so welcome in. Thank you, person, for helping me with the spirit, because I'm falling down here. How are you this evening? Thank you for chiming in on the rack curry <laughs> conundrum that we're on right now. Curry with a lot of rack hair. Oh, that does not sound very good, though, let's be honest. Come on, little spirit. Rack up your life. What's that makes me think of that one Spice Girl song, like the Spice Up Your Life. Na -na 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 -na. Rack up your life. Na -na 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 -na. Rack up your life. Aww. Hey. I do good. Oh, that's good. That is what you meant. I had a feeling. And we've gotten very distracted this stream, but it's fine. I'm like doing all these spirits. Whatever. Progress is progress. Come on. Yeah. This is the only thing. Sometimes, yeah, this game is a little bit temperamental. I'm going to bed in five minutes make them count. Ah! Oh, oh my gosh. Don't worry, I'll show you some cool areas. I think I'm not going to bother with that four-person door because it might take a while. So. Come on. There they are. So we're just going to leave this area. I think there is a winged light here, but I can look for it later. We'll go do the main vault because it's a very cool very cool location, I think. Oh my gosh, she sneak. Oh, that's the wrong button. That's cute. Just seen one option that says curry, seven pounds. Great detail there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just saw light flare. Where are you? I swore I just saw one. I know there's one in here somewhere. Unless I'm just imagined it. Okay, no. No, we've gotta we've gotta make it count before Reese goes to bed, so we'll run. Ah! We will run. Also, okay, the server has reset, so we've got to do this. So that's fine. It's okay, Reese. I wanna. I wanna move on a bit anyway. So, cause I can. Some of the little side areas where I don't fully remember where um, 
where all the location of the lights are. It's fine. I can look up a video and find them on my own time. Rack! Yes. Yeah, I'm blaming it on you. Exactly. Okay, but this is a really cool area because it's like a vertical area, so each level corresponds to another area of the game. So this first one, that constellation is for the Isle of Dawn. It's like where you first land in the game. And now the elevator is going to move us up and like eat for each level that we have, you know. Thank you, Merely. Clink. mood today. I don't know why. I guess I've just been sitting around the house a lot. I already had half of a chocolate bar today, but I kind of just want to finish off the chocolate bar. Maybe I will. Yes, person, I'm coming to help you. Don't worry. I'm coming. Don't worry. We just need one more person. On. There you are. Yes. Collaboration. Oh my gosh! Just like Dr. Hakim in uh, It Takes Two. Collaboration. I love that character so much. So many people hate Dr. Hakim, but I love them. Yeah, I think I'm going to treat myself. I haven't been snacking that much these days, so I think I will be a little bit naughty. Where's the other? Okay, now I'm bored. Collaboration! With like the hip thrusts in there too? I'm not gonna do that. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do the hip thrusts. <laughs> I ate six donuts in 24 hours. I do not judge. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I've just moved my contact out of place. Love that. Well, I can only half see right now. Um new rewards? No! No, because Twitch will ban me. <laughs> Contact, please come back. Oh. I might need to run off to the bathroom for a second. It is in the corner of my eye. Okay, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> Contact saved. Still a little bit blurry, but at least it's in properly now. What do you need, my buddy? What's up? Hello. What do you need? a 
little wave. I don't know what you guys need, but go, go ahead and just talk. Welcome, Rack. Uh, right, yeah, this area just has the one. One support Pangy for half blind Georgia and her wandering vision. Thank you. I think I'll also put some lip balm on. Friend? Yeah, maybe they just. I don't know. I don't know why they needed something at that specific spot, but. Oh well. I love that. I love the support pangies. Robbie, look, Reese has penguin emotes. Reese, Robbie's favorite animal is a penguin. Just like how I'm obsessed with racks, Robbie's obsessed with penguins. So, please put some more panky emotes. <laughs> oh my God! There's so many. Oh my gosh, I did not know you had that many. I only knew about a few of them. I knew you'd already be on it. The scream of excitement. Love it. Oh, that's so cute. They've got a lot of emote slots too. They must be like a really like popular streamer to have that many emote slots. It's awesome. I would assume, Robbie, if you click them, it would show the streamer that they belong to and you could um, probably subscribe. I, I doubt... Well, maybe some of them are follower only. What happens if I sit here? I've never done this before. Okay. I don't know what the point of that was. Oh, you gotta do it in a row. Okay. Ah, gotcha. I just, like... I, like that's a lot of emotes. It takes a long time to be able to unlock that many, so... I just would have thought they'd be, like, really big. But I guess if they've got, like, a dedicated community, then you can unlock that stuff slowly. Moida. Oh, is this the Moida person? Oh, it's live. Oh, they're live right now with Murder by Numbers. Fun! Sorry, person honking, I'm not going to help you because we've got stuff to do. Yep, I'm on my way. Let me, let me sit. Gave them a follow so now I can use penguins in their chat. Aww. Cute. We're off to the next level. I still like, I'm obsessed with these freaking sunglasses. I just think they're so funny on my character. My character's just like 
deal with it. Okay. Nini, resist the cuckoo, Nini. Just ten more minutes. Well, a little bit less than ten minutes. I'll, I'll be stopping in a little bit less than ten minutes. We're almost done the uh, vault anyway. There is a winged light right here. Yes, resist! We're almost there! Okay. Luckily, because like usually the servers connect you into other servers that like they've already done the objectives so sometimes you can just skip through it really fast. Oh my gosh. Am I just a bad influence in keeping you all past your bedtimes? Hee hee hee. I've got to have a bedtime tonight too. I have to work at 9 tomorrow. But not that much of a bedtime. Because I'd rather lose sleep a bit and still, you know, do my nightly routine of like gaming for a bit, reading some webtoons and stuff. We choose racks over sleep. This is the way. Oh my gosh, I'm delaying your evening. That sounds so... What has happened? Uh, I'm just gonna skip, because I don't know if that was supposed to happen. Oh yeah, we're, we're moving up now. We gotta ride the, the, the mantas, everybody. Are you ready? They're gonna come up in a second. Moving on up. There they are. Aren't they pretty? Look at that. We're gonna ride one to the top. I think in the community it's called being manta napped. Because, like, if you fly near one, it just, like, you kind of, like, the game sticks you to one, basically. Webtoons before you're supposed to sleep sounds risky based on the stories you play. No, those ones aren't risky. Fan fiction is the risky ones. The webtoons are like a weekly upload, so I catch up on them like once a week when they upload. There's another winged light friend. fix at 3 a.m. I confess to nothing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no. Robbie mistakenly asked me like what fanfic I was just reading the other week. Or like last week. And I was just like, oh no. <laughs> I don't want to explain. <laughs> I don't want to explain how naughty I've been. <laughs> but it's okay. It's just fanfiction. Okay, let, let me show you the Elder for this area. Yeah, no, I have way too many fanfic tabs open. Or, like, bookmarked. And, like, you know, waiting for, like, the email subscription, like, to be like, they've released a new chapter, you know? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I haven't quite evolved from the naughty fanfictions to the naughty, like adult roman romance novels that are really popular right now with like the book talk community and stuff but like I've got a lot of them wishlisted um I would say it depends if I'm like currently reading something on AO3 definitely I'm like no why aren't you working but um if like if I'm not currently reading something then it doesn't matter like I read my webtoons every day basically uh, once in a while I'll take like a like a week break um, and because I'm reading like a fan fiction or something and I just read the fan fiction all the way through and then go back to the webtoons otherwise like I do read manga as well so like I'm reading the hunter hunter no um, manga right now I'm reading the one piece spy family um, like One Piece, I'm just slowly catching up on. I didn't start right from the beginning again, because I've already read it from the beginning. But I started at like an arc that I'd, or like, yeah, an arc that I'd 
previously stopped at, so I'm just kind of picking up where I left last time and keep going. Uh, and then I'm reading some like cute romance ones, like, um, what is it, Ice Guy and his cool feel female colleague or something? I read Hori Mia recently. Yeah, just some like cute slice of life ones. I mostly stop reading fan drinking except for a few because I don't keep track of everything. Yeah, like I'll um I'll always like bookmark them and, and like sign up for the the list on the subscription. Like, you know, send me an email when they've updated. But so many of my um like my favorite fix like don't keep going. Well, everyone, we we finished all the realms except for the last spooky one. But we're gonna run away! Ah! Because stream is over. Let's go back home. So, the only one left, probably for next stream, is this spooky, spooky place. I'll try to zoom in a bit without activating the door. It's spooky. It's spooky there. We don't like it. But maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that if, like, for like a Halloween stream or something. What? Let me check my calendar. Um, what's the closest stream? Ooh, Tuesday is Halloween. So yeah, maybe we could save I've Eden for, for Halloween. That'd be fun. Because it is very scary there. Oh my gosh, Angel! I'm gonna just send them a quick message. Hold on. Well, we're just about to finish up, so... Yeah, let's find a good spot with a nice view. This is a current event. I'll do this after the stream. Let's go up here. Have a nice little, little sit. Alright, so that was sky children of the light we finished up golden wasteland and vault of knowledge today if we missed any i'm just gonna go find them in my own time i'm not really like stressed about it but look at that we're at 117 out of 120 i think 120 is the max wing level maybe oh no maybe not i th oh no i think 120 is like the minimum that you need to like, have a good Eye of Eden run. Oh my god, I'm, like, sliding off camera again. Whoops! Um, so, potentially on our Eye of Eden stream, we can try for a trophy that I've been trying for, which is, um, you have to give your light to six all 63 statues. Um, so, like, each, you're, like, ripping off part of your cloak each time to give the light to them. So, yeah, we could potentially have a good run at that next stream. Yeah, I've written down the rope globe shake redeemed. No worries there. But yeah, I think we will call it at that. I don't think I'm going to do a raid today just because I'm tired and I want to hop out. But I hope you all have a good evening. Thank you for hanging out. I'm glad I've cheered you up. <laughs> you ain't tanned. <laughs> Thanks, Angel. Yeah, I'm just about to head off, but I wish I could stay on and play. Um, yeah. So, have a good evening, Rack Squad. And, bye!